day, forced to live by foresight. Oh, what can you do before you've tried living of time? Welcome aboard, this is our boat. So we're about a month away until we ship our boat over to Antigua to start the Talisker Whiskey Atlantic Challenge. And we thought we'd like to show you around the boat. So we've got two cabins either end, it's where we're going to sleep. So Sam and I are in the big boy cabin up here that I'm sitting on and James and Louie will be down the back in the small cabin. Uh, they're both about two metres long and the boat's about nine metres long so it's not massive. It's going to take us about 30 to 40 days to cross the Atlantic. We're going to be rowing two up, like James and Louie are doing now, two hours on, two hours off, until we finish. So today we're out training. Um, basically we're trying to emulate what we're going to be doing on the row, uh, which is the two hours rowing, two hours resting. Uh, we're using our time to, you know, get familiar with how the equipment's working, um, how our bodies are feeling, uh, on the changeovers, sort of what's going right, what's going wrong, what we like, what we don't like, what we enjoy eating, what we don't enjoy eating. Um, it's all a bit of a learning curve during training um, and hopefully we can perfect a few things before we, before we set off at the end of the year. Yeah, the crossing is completely unsupported, so we'll be on this boat for 30, 40 days we carry absolutely everything we need. So that consists of things like our desalinator for our water. Um, that runs on our solar powered batteries. And we carry all our food for up to 55 days. We also have an autopilot, auto tiller system, which directs us in the direction we want to go. We have a VHF. Yeah, very important question we get asked is, where do you, uh, where do you go to the toilet? And it's right there. Flip it upside down and do your business. Other than that, we have three rowing positions. Going to row three up. Welcome to the, the stern cabin. A little bit smaller, so the beginner, such as myself, won't be in this one. Uh, but this cabin has all the nav and comm equipment. This is me fully reclined in the uh, sleeping position. 40 days like this, so you can see in this cabin, my legs go under the deck a little bit. You may have to get two people in here in the middle of the storm, but you know, cross your fingers, hopefully that doesn't happen. This is the uh, the forward cabin, it's the larger cabin, so Rob and Sam will be in here. It's got less equipment than the stern, so um, I think they'll just be enjoying themselves. It's pretty cosy, pretty nice, but um, I it does get pretty hot and it is harder to manage the swell. All the boys um, got seasick last week. Everyone was over the edge, ch chundering, horrendous. So um, I'm yet, I'm yet to, to get there. But we'll see. Um, we just thought we'd take the time to thank our sponsors uh, because without them we wouldn't be here training and we wouldn't get over to Lagomera to row across the Atlantic Ocean in December. So massive thank you to our title sponsor, Shore and Partners. Also like to thank our, our other sponsors, Keys Marina. Gun Lake and Ag Trade. Uh, they've been a massive support to us as well, so thanks very much from the Shore and Partners Atlantic crew. Oh.